Can you hear me? Oh. Okay. Hello, hello. Uh, today everybody's festive, right? So I guess that this is why everybody wants to stay home and stuff, you know? We didn't have so many people. Well, that's all right. Less people is going to be more intimate discussion. It's going to be quite right. So thanks for being here. Um, so basically darker music talks. So people that watch the, what, what's happening in the camera, they also know. So darker music talks is a series of free discussions uh, between experts or knowledge keepers, as I call them, and musicians or music people that want to learn more about the industry and shape the future, probably, hopefully. Uh, so thanks a lot for being here. We're going to have a discussion now. Uh, this is going to be about online, uh, online reputation management. Uh, today we have uh, Constantinos Varsis, uh, who is an expert and managing clients, high-end clients, about the reputation online, which is something that if we, had, if we started a discussion about online reputation a few years ago, we would be like, what, what's that? Why is that helpful? But things evolve really fast. So now, if you don't control the information that is out there about you on the web, then probably you don't know much about what you're, going, what you're doing in the first place. It's a very important asset, just like somebody's music, just like somebody's image or presence, you know, or management. Reputation online, that's very important as well. So hopefully, feel free, this is quite casual, all right? So no formality, just feel free to talk anytime. We're going to use this microphone, so whenever you have something to say in order to be caught in the camera and everybody can, can listen to it, please let me know so I can bring the microphone. And I think we should just, I'm Tommy, by the way, and welcome. And if you would like to write anything on Twitter, it, it's better if you pay attention here, but if you want to write something on Twitter, use the hashtag Darker Music Talks. I'll be live blogging the whole thing as well, so all right, let's start. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you all for coming uh, here this evening. My name is uh, Konstantin Varsis. I'm director of a company called Great Online Reputation Limited. And uh, what we do is we manage the online reputation of uh, individuals and brands from all industries and uh, all walks of life. Uh, we all know that uh, the internet has uh, penetrated our lives quite significantly in the last uh, few years and more than 80% of the population in well-developed countries use it for everyday tasks as they do to learn more about a brand, about uh, a person or any type of service or knowledge they want to get. But let's start with, with uh, what is in practical terms, our online reputation is whatever exists in the search results when we search for a specific search term. The search term can be the name of a singer, the name of a band, uh, the name of a product, the name of a service, absolutely anything. What comes up in Google, Yahoo, Bing <coughs> is what defines our online reputation as in regards to search engines. Everybody uses search engines. It's so easy to do. They are everywhere. You can uh, find them on your web browser, which can be located on your phone, on your PC, on your Mac, anywhere. Now, also, with the advent of uh, the social media, it's uh, what is being said about you on them, on Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, all kinds of social media websites which uh, account for more than 550 nowadays. Different ones for different uh, industries and different niches. Also uh, reviews of you, your brand, your band, your product, your service, absolutely everything. These reviews can be from Amazon where someone has bought a CD and tries to explain or express his opinion on how he found the music, on how he found the artist, or uh, uh, any specialized review websites that uh, are specializing on a specific niche or uh, a specific type of music or a specific type of service or product. And uh, if you're famous enough, it's anything published on mainstream press, in our occasions, when artists are concerned, even negative reputation that goes on mainstream press sometimes can be positive. It depends on what exactly is placed there. 
also any photos or videos that are tagged with your name and uh, public records connected to you or your business where uh, data to websites that display public records are taken from uh, government sources such as the electoral roll, etc., etc. For example, if you are a mainstream artist that uh, has become quite popular, it is not the best thing in the world for your home address to display on uh, several Yelp or other types of websites that get data from these types of sources. Now, some, some very, very basic statistics uh, that are concerning mostly search engines. So for any uh, given search term, absolutely anything, 53% of the users do not go past the first two results. For me, when I first saw the statistics, the statistic which was great, uh, straight from uh, Google, uh, I found it surprising. For some of you, though, it would seem uh, normal. Most people don't really bother uh, going through all the results of the first page. And 89% of them do not go past the first page at all. And surprisingly, 99% of all users that search for absolutely anything do, no, do not go past page two. Which means that, uh, in a way, your online reputation is judged primarily by the first page and almost in total by the first two pages of the search engine results. And uh, also we have that one out of four people who appear online have no positive content at all for them on the first page. And when we say <coughs> positive content is something that flatters them, something that gives them a status and not random data that happen to be there. 15% uh, have at least one negative result that damages their reputation. Now, for the music business, if you're a musician and you want to establish your online reputation, your online image, you need to take some first steps before you embark on this adventure. First, you must have a strategy on how you intend on going about it and uh, decide who you want to be online. Imagine what, what kind of profile you want to create. Who do you want to come across as? Then you must be prepared to do a lot of work, uh, building up your social media profile, your uh, search engine uh, <coughs> results, and manage to control everything and uh, portray the image you want others to have about you is hard work and continuous work and uh, it must never stop while you continue your career or you should have others that do it for you. Then you must have uh, a professional written resume that uh, looks quite impressive even if it actually isn't and uh, also uh, professional recorded samples of your work and uh, and uh, very well edited show reel. You must definitely have some very good uh, quality pictures. Uh, nowadays, bandwidth is not an issue. So uh, most users are pretty much used to seeing very good quality of pictures, very good quality of video. And if you're an artist and you don't have this kind of material, it's a definite minus. Uh, one very important consideration is make sure that your music is ready for the world. It doesn't mean that since you produced a track, either that it's good or that you consider it good or it's ready for the uh, audience out there. Let's not forget there is fierce competition in the music industry, online as well, and you must carefully consider whether you're being uh, cautious in getting your material out there, your work out there, whether it's exactly how you want it, and make, make sure that you understand that first impressions count, and uh, in many occasions you don't get a second chance. And uh, always uh, consider uh, discovering your brand. Uh, that's part of uh, deciding who you want uh, to be. 
because as an artist, as a musician, uh, you are you, you and your name are a product, a brand on the internet, which must be portrayed in a very specific way to reach the audience that you require. And also, you must know your target audience. You must know uh, what are their tendencies. For example, if you specialize in one type of music, and there are several other types of music that are very similar to that, let's say types of indie rock or anything for that matter, you must know how to distinguish one type from the other in order to communicate with your audience in a better manner. It's very important to be social, real world social, not uh, internet wise, uh, and interact with other artists because this has uh, a lot of benefits. Uh, reciprocal relationships can be formed so that uh, you can arrange joint uh, events with them, uh, joint concerts, which would be beneficial for, the, for both. Uh, get reviews for your work manage to get as many people that are preferably in the industry, write good comments about your work and uh, document it so you can post it on your website or anywhere you want to be portrayed online. Uh, establish a very good press kit. You must have your own or your band's uh, biography, uh, a fact sheet, a brochure, some uh, positive press, uh, demos, and contact information. And very importantly, you must protect uh, your copyright by registering it. And although that seems self-explanatory to uh, most people, there is a surprisingly large number of artists and uh, musicians in specific that do not take that into consideration. And especially in the online world, once something is out there, uh, it can never go back. And uh, theoretically and practically, in technology terms, once you upload something on the internet, whether it's a picture, some text, and you put it on a website, it makes thousands of copies of itself. You put something on Facebook and you delete it 20 seconds later, it can never be totally deleted from the internet. It had made copies to an endless amount of machines. You don't know where it is, but it's somewhere there. It may not appear on the search engine results, it may not directly uh, cause some damage to your reputation. However, you cannot deny that you placed it there. Now, how to promote yourself online? Some, some general tips because this is uh, a quite uh, broad subject to cover. Now, you must definitely get your own domain name for uh, multiple reasons. One of them is that uh, if you do not manage your online reputation, it is absolutely certain that someone else will do it for you. So get your domain name before someone else does. And that someone else may wish to defame you, may wish to produce damage, where uh, by the time you have enforced all the legal means to take that down, uh, the damage would have been done and it's irreversible. And also, have your own website. It looks much better. It's not only having a Facebook page or a Twitter page, even if you have uh, thousands of fans or followers or likes in each and every post. Your own website, first of all, is a central hub for everything you have. From your website, someone can navigate to your videos, to your uh, music, to your sample, to absolutely anything surrounding you and your work. And also, it has uh, a status. Uh, being an artist nowadays, without having uh, um, your personal or your brand website, seems that you're an amateur. You should uh, stream your music across uh, different uh, online channels. And uh, preferably, you should uh, allow fans to download free music uh, from your website or any other website where you stream music to. They will need to listen to a sample of your work. And uh, many artists nowadays has, have found 
that uh, during uh, their first trucks or their first dozens of trucks, when they have distributed it for free of charge and they managed to create a larger fan base, uh, people that are loyal to their music, to their work, they will later pay for it. Uh, it's uh, very important to distribute your presence, not having just a web page and a Facebook page, but you should uh, scatter your, the information about your music, your band, and your work to as many websites and resources as you can. But that means that you will have to dedicate an equal amount of time to each creating profiles in different social media uh, networking websites without engaging with them, without using them, uh, causes more harm than good. You should distribute your online presence into many different popular websites, but however, you should uh, dedicate time <coughs> to them. You should build uh, a good relationship uh, with your audience and uh, that's one of the most important factors in uh, establishing your online reputation as a musician, which means that there will be some people, a uh, few, a lot, uh, it doesn't matter, that will like you, that will like your music, that you will like your band, your brand, and your products. You should never, uh, you should always show them how much you appreciate that. And that builds up a relationship with them. And they become your brand defenders. Which means that in the next post that someone places on Facebook that tries to defame you and says that uh, your work is below par or um, they've never heard anything worse, your brand defenders, your uh, loyal fans will jump into the discussion and try to save you something that you would never have time to do, and it's preferable not to engage in. You should find blogs that are related to your niece. Uh, if you have the funds to hire a high-end PR firm that will place you on high-profile websites and uh, mainstream media, that's very good, but if you don't, it's very good to build personal relationships with uh, bloggers that will uh, uh, produce uh, samples of your work onto their blogs and write a few things about you. You should give uh, promotional tools to your fans. What does this mean? Uh, make it easier for them to promote you. <coughs> for example, if you have a website where you have all your tracks available for download and uh, your interviews and everything that needs to be known about you, you create, uh, for example, a widget that it makes it very easy for someone to place the very small line of code onto their website that links to yours. So make it easy for them to promote you. Uh, give them incentives in order to do so. And that will uh, yield great returns. And... Uh, Many, many artists have decided that encouraging fan con uh, contributions has uh, benefited the, the most. Uh, one example is there are several artists that uh, create their music, upload it to one of the streaming websites, and then invite their fans or a wider audience to advise them on what title they should give to their songs, which makes them... Uh, uh, engaged with uh, your work, they consider that they are part of it, hence it becomes more popular. Innovative ideas really count. It's very important to create videos. Uh, being a musician, you don't have to make a production, a music video, but you can have a combination of uh, imaging, perhaps you from live gigs or any image that you like combined with music. And why would you do that? Because as the statistic says, 17% uh, of the users will spend less than four seconds on any website. However, they will spend an average of almost three minutes watching a video. 
always prefer quality over quantity. You don't have to write uh, thousands of blog posts and articles. You have to write quite a few, but they must be of high quality. High quality will drive more traffic to your websites. High quality will be the one that is appreciated by your viewers. And it, it's, it would be really good to create a relevant blog that has uh, genuine, useful content that people would search for. It would give genuine advice and you would uh, gain an audience that is not direct, directly associated with your music, but through your tips they will appreciate you and uh, learn you as an artist. Uh, you should create uh, relationships, again, social relationships with other webmasters in order for them to place a link on, uh, on their websites towards your websites, which will make your rankings better in Google terms. And uh, you should uh, link between all your online profiles uh, in order for people to navigate from one to another with ease. So if someone discovers you through a YouTube video, you should have your website address on the description and vice versa. You should take advantage of Wikipedia, especially if you are a band, which is easier, which makes it easier for you to create uh, a page on Wikipedia, which is not that hard nowadays, and uh, gives you a free pass to many directories that if you weren't in Wikipedia, they wouldn't have placed a mention to your website, music, or brand. <coughs> you should, uh, for better chances of inclusion into several blogs and directories relevant to your niece, you should try localized results, like uh, 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 best guitar player in London, which would be more interesting to local based media, uh, blogs, publications, etc. As we said before, engage your audience, which means each time someone places a review about you, respond to them. If it's a positive review, encourage them to do more. Encourage them to listen other works that you have done. Encourage them to uh, express their opinion more vividly. If it's a negative review, you should be calm and express it in uh, the most uh, diplomatic manner, but never ever go into a rant or dispute over the internet because this will never be portrayed positively. Um, especially when we are talking about uh, defamation your fans will love to see that you are responding in a diplomatic and uh, sensible way to someone that is clearly trying to defame you. As well as if you have a, a big database, a, a grown audience of loyal fans, they will take care of the rest. You should uh, multitask with uh, Hootsuite. It's one of the tools that you could use. When we say multitask, you may have created 10 or 20 social media profiles and it would be uh, a very difficult task to update each and every one of them each day or every couple of days. It would consume a lot of your time, which you should be spending on developing your music and other skills that would help you in your career. And there are several websites that uh, manage to uh, administrate all the social media profiles by just updating one website. So you, one of these is Hootsuite, you put everything you need, all your logins for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. in there, and you select each post you do, its uh, uh, new content that you upload, that it goes with one click to all of them. You should uh, take a look at specialist music distributors who would uh, uh, take uh, a set <coughs> fee to encode your music and place it on the major digital music stores. Uh, one good example is Tito, where you can also keep uh, all the royalties. 
And uh, very important uh, is that there are several um, tools out there that allow you to monitor your online reputation, like it's uh, the Google, like the Google Alerts, and many others out there. Which the moment something enters the search engine results for a given search term, which obviously it would be your name or your band's name or your truck's name, it will send you an email saying that uh, your name appeared there. So you could act immediately if it's something, engage the person who published that comment or published that page or a blogger that wrote something about you. And don't leave it until it goes further up on search results and it's more difficult if it's something negative to push down. And uh, you should be aware that whenever there is a completely unfair or defamatory comment on a website, a review website, anywhere, you have every right to ask uh, for the moderator to remove it, as long as you have relative proof that what is being uh, said is untrue. Now, let's take it from the opposite side now, uh, and let's see why in several occasions uh, your self-promotion is not working. <coughs> and first of all is that uh, you're waiting in line, which means that uh, sometimes you use some websites like uh, Music X-Ray, where they promise to submit your work to several producers, uh, festivals, magazines, uh, radio stations with uh, a set fee. But uh, your chances of getting a fair listen, uh, they are very limited. Uh, the radio producers and promoters that uh, uh, are receiving these emails, they receive hundreds of, of emails per day. You don't know what is the quality of, uh, they don't know what is the quality of your content. There are many people out there that do the same and it doesn't guarantee any results. Uh, what guarantees results is to come into personal contact with them and give the effort, send emails that are personalized, make them feel that you are different than everyone else, and do not spam their inbox with uh, messages through these websites. Of course, every now and then, there is a chance that uh, one of you uh, will be listened and approved, but that's very limited. It's a big mistake to only promote on social media just because it's the big thing now. It's only part of your online reputation and your social media profiles will not fill the first two pages of Google with positive results or results that uh, you want them to be there. Uh, it's, it's good and uh, most uh, music marketing productions uh, tend to aim to them uh, exclusively because you can target a very large uh, audience, but you should consider that not everyone is involved with the social media. And uh, it's, uh, the human factor is important. Uh, you must create personal, customized emails to send to them. You must pick up the phone, try to make contact, try to make appointments and uh, get out there. And uh, most uh, of your targets, uh, mostly the music in industry companies, would be more interested in the traffic you get on your main website rather than the amount of likes you get on your uh, social media profiles, which uh, nowadays can even be bought. Uh, also, uh, something that is quite negative at times is uh, using uh, automated services like uh, Music Submit or Bitwire. And uh, it's really important, like we said uh, before, to see what kind of attention do these massive uh, <coughs> websites uh, get from the industry experts. You may be happy that you are not paying a, a large amount, but uh, do you get respect from the industry 
uh, experts? Do they want to prefer someone that uh, did the easy way out and did not try the hard way to get out there to beat the competitors and reach you in uh, the best possible manner? Uh, also, uh, it's a really important showing value, which means that if you don't have money to spend, things are difficult. Because most of the music production companies, uh, they have limited time on their hands and they must have an incentive in order to assess your work and see what you do. It's not, uh, it's very common when you send a submission to a magazine, to a blog, to a music industry company or anyone for that matter, to forward you with their advertising rates. And when you say, I would like to get a, a free uh, mention on your website, perhaps, could you please uh, review it? They will say that the sales section is uh, quite uh, uh, different than the editorial, editorial considerations. But there may be freelancers out there that are interested to do that and they have not gained a significant reputation yet and they're trying to build it up. But of course, being considered on their companies, on their websites, on their blog is not as important as being considered on the big ones, on the big players. Um, it's they, they do not know uh, you and they don't care. What does this mean? We create a blog and we want it to be the number one blog in the music, music industry for a particular niche and uh, someone has a brilliant idea which is very good but not very fair to the musicians that uh, in order for it to get more exposure, more hits, more visits we should put a section on the blog or the website which says that all music uh, submissions are welcome and please submit your work and your content to us and we will get back to you. Most of them do that because uh, they will attract a lot of traffic, but they would never ever take a look at your work. And you must consider that most of them, if, especially when they're popular, they receive 200 to 500 submissions per day. They would never have the time to do that anyway. But they still keep it there, for, not to give hope to the musicians, but to gain more traffic. Now, also, uh, you may not succeed because you do not uh, appeal to their ego. And let's face it, different people react in different ways. Some people, they don't want to be uh, bothered or um, harassed or communicated in any way through private messages or emails. Others do appreciate the more personal uh, type of content, contact. You can never be uh, sure about which way to go. The best way to go, though, is to be subtle, to be polite, and try to get your message across without being too pushy. Uh, also, um, several times, you want to be appealing to the masses, because uh, from a marketing point of view, that would uh, give you the best uh, returns. However, in your attempt to do that as a musician, you become part of a generic package that more or less looks like everyone else. So you need to uh, differentiate, do something different, whether it's uh, a music video, whether it's your approach, whether it's your music, how you present it, how you look, absolutely everything, but something that will strike your audience. You should never neglect reciprocation. Uh, it's appreciation to someone that has dedicated some time to put uh, an editorial uh, about you, to have a link to your website through their website. You should respond with a reciprocal link. 
with the mention of their website. So for example, if you get uh, a blog posting a YouTube video of one of your tracks, and the only thing you do in your social media is place a link directly to the YouTube video and not to their website that displays the YouTube video, so they will also get some of the traffic, then uh, you can't really expect much more from the same people. Also, it's uh, more often than not the size that you are focusing on the quantity of funds instead of the quality of funds. Many funds mean uh, nothing and you don't know if they're real funds, but passionate funds, people that li really like what you do, they are involved with what you do, they, they consider you part of a wider music <coughs> family, let's place it like that, are the ones that are uh, going to save you from defamation, from uh, uh, negative reputation, they are the ones that uh, they are going to promote you to their peers, they are the ones that are going to buy your CDs, and not uh, the people that follow artists in random. Also, a, a major uh, negative factor is not investing enough time into building your music career, which is as important as promoting uh, your musical work. And uh, what is important as well is not having a good live performance skills. It counts. Uh, people like to see as well as hear. You shouldn't neglect of being better on your presentation skill, on your performance skill, in terms of promoting yourself more. You, you shouldn't let that go. Now, we will mention uh, some websites, uh, some uh, music-related websites, where you can publish your content, stream your content, and they are very easy to access. One of them is uh, Spotify, which you most probably all of them have heard of, very popular. Uh, Bandcamp is very good for independent artists, although uh, some uh, major brands and uh, music industry companies have started being involved with it and uh, allows you to sell your music as well. It's uh, Reddit Music. Reddit is uh, really important in the social networking uh, circles. You can... Uh, it's a community for content sharing that is really popular and uh, the music side of it is becoming more and more popular and should never be neglected. Uh, Last FM uh, is a website that knows exactly how to match your website to the audience taste. And uh, the benefit, the major benefit is that you receive a very targeted audience and it has a royalty program that rewards the users of the website when they engage with the submitter's content. Earbits, it's a very high quality uh, website that, uh, and, and it's a very high quality online music streaming website which encourages through social media currency users to listen. The more they listen, the more benefits they gain. And it's not too crowded yet, which is a good thing. Uh, SoundCloud, which is massive, it has about uh, 200 million listeners, which is good, but it's very difficult for you to stand out from the crowd. Uh, you have uh, Twitter Mobile, which is relatively new and uh, currently only works with other players like Spotify and iTunes. You have the new MySpace, which has been completely rebranded and uh, looks much better than before. Um, Instagram videos tend to be very, very popular nowadays, where you have 15 seconds to show your work or your talent. I like. Uh, it's... Uh, very, very popular as a media music service. It has 45 million uh, users and uh, one of its sections that it's called 
Universal Artist Star Dashboard can be used to uh, reach uh, fans worldwide and spread their music virally. And they spread it through multiple channels that they work with, like Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Also, it's Our State, which is an innovative um, idea of having a popularity contest in regards to the tracks that you publish and sometimes win uh, prizes. MP3.com, it, it, it drives very good traffic towards your resources. iTunes is definitely not for emerging uh, musicians uh, and uh, it takes a while to approve. They, have a, they take about one third of your money, and, uh, but they are very popular. It's a very easy way. Yes, please. Uh, we had stuff on there through um, TuneCore. Yes. A small flat amount. iTunes uh, was basically paying us the best royalties we've ever had. All oh, right. Because we weren't, we weren't paying iTunes, we, we, we paid our. Um, yes, uh, I believe we have a mention, yes. So that, that's a way to, even as an emerging artist, you, you can get on there, but just do it through TuneCore or something like yes. that. Yes. Through third party yes, vendors. Yes, of course. That's very good. Thank you. Uh, pure volume, where anyone can uh, download your profile and samples of your music for free. And it's very interactive as well. Uh, Facebook is very popular as well. It has a very wide audience used by uh, most <coughs> artists, since you can have a dedicated page that you can uh, manage as you want it. Uh, GarageBand where your tracks are being reviewed by your fans and you can climb the charts if you uh, produce good quality content and music. And our wave that uh, alternates the promotion of different musicians over time. Now, it's not only the music websites or the music, the online streaming websites where you should be mentioned. Apart from having your own website, your own blog, and your own forum, you should, be, uh, you should have a presence in as many uh, high PR, that's a Google term, um, websites as you can do, because they are most likely to go on the top of the search engine results rather than not. For a professional profile, it's you know LinkedIn and Plaxo. For personal, you can have Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, with a slight preference, if you can, to Google+. Google clearly puts an advantage to it in everything that is posted there, but it still hasn't become nearly as popular as the other two. <coughs> uh, for education, you can try classmates or a union. It's, uh, it's good to have results on Google that you control, that you know you placed a profile there. So you can change the content depending on what your preferences are, other than allowing the search engine to find results that you haven't placed there. So as many as these profiles you create, and more fully you create them, the better it is. Uh, review websites, uh, Amazon, uh, in the yellow pages, from media sites, Flickr, uh, YouTube, Vimeo, Instagram, and several others. Uh, resume websites like Resume and emus. Bookmarking websites like StumbleUpon, Reddit, and Dig, which were quite popular about three uh, years ago. But uh, since they have received a lot of abuse for, from uh, um, search engine optimization professionals that stuffed a lot of content onto them in order to manipulate the search engines, they're not as popular. But in the old days, when about <coughs> six years ago, when you published something in all the three of them, in Dig in particular, you would be guaranteed to get your content within a few days on the top of the search engine results. And uh, as many as possible industry-specific blogs, forums, groups, and social networks that are more relevant to your niche. And also local social networks, forums, and groups and special interest or lifetime social networks, forums, and groups. And uh, we did a brief mention of 
what would involve in building your online reputation as a musician or as a professional in general, because the same <coughs> rules apply. And the rules that apply for online media also apply for the real world. You must engage your audience. You must protect the people that like your content and your music and your work. And you must uh, work hard in order for your name and your brand to get out of there. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, please, uh, let me know of any questions. Thank you.